care deeply about those around you. You know, if you can care deeply about those people, your professors, your peers on campus, there'll be no hazing incidents. There'll be no other issues that happen if you care deeply about those around you. And we found that in 2013, during the playoffs, give me an example, school's over, right? School's done, and, uh, and so now we're just playing lacrosse. Summer school is kind of lurking for the sophomores, because our sophomores stay on campus and, and go to summer school. But we, we do a, a really kind of a neat thing where we practice every day, of course, and then we eat dinner together every night. We go to some local restaurant in town, and, and we stay together, and then we do a social activity. It might be the movies, it might be a Bulls game, it might be a team building exercise. And the, the, the rallying cry every year is, sure, we want to win. We want to advance past the opening round, we want to advance past the quarterfinals. But the rallying, the true rallying cry is, we want to be together for another week. Let's be together for another week, because we really love each other. And I found that to be happening in the last two years. And it really started in two, it, it's, it's always been a rallying cry, but it was really obvious the last couple of years. And at the end, people ask me, they'll say, coach, what is like a, like what's a successful year to you? And I'll say, when the seniors are in the locker room and they're crying uncontrollably, you know, these are alpha men full of testosterone, 22, 23, and they're crying uncontrollably because at some level, they know it's over. They know this will never be like this again for them and their group. And when we have them do that, if I see that, it's not because we lost or because we won. It's because they know that it's over. In 2014, there were guys who couldn't celebrate in the locker room right after the game. There were seniors who had to excuse themselves because they were weeping. Guys did not want to clean out their lockers at the end of the year. The seniors did not want to leave. They knew what they had here, and they knew it's really tough to replicate somewhere down the road. And maybe that's why some guys are attracted to the military or attracted to that kind of, you know, those organizations and those feelings. But that's something that we found at the end here has been a big part of our success. And because our guys are here for four years and they live together, they live on East as freshmen, they get to know one another, they, it's, it's probably the most important thing that I've been taught since I've been here.